What's up guys? This is the Rifleman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War. Let's play as the Knights of St. John again. <laughs> so, to round off what happened last time, um, we've been slowly building up our territories in Algiers and Tunis, slowly building them up to be something more useful. But our army has instead pushed up to Ireland, as I think this is probably our most useful route to expand because we will not annoy an empire like the Ottomans. We will not annoy any of our Catholic brothers and sisters. We will stay relatively peaceful, I and mean, we will go negative in our earnings, uh, mainly because we have to support a fairly large army, because I'm going to want to attack very carefully, because we are against elite troops. Um, I'm hoping I can keep pushing down this recruitment, or this... Um, military tree while I'm attacking so I, I can kind of offset some of the major problems before they show up. As you can see Algiers is unhappy because of the because of the uh, the clamour for reform and also religious unrest so we're still going to keep on chipping away at 1% a turn making them a happier place. Tunis is currently fairly happy in terms of religious unrest at about 45% so that's quite a useful indicator actually. Still doing ring bayonets, because ring bayonets are so much more handier than plug bayonets. Um, but let's hit end turn. Aha! The Brits are responding to my attack on the city. And it's the Ottomans, and I forgot about the Ottomans. So, see you in a second, guys. You've, you, you'll see my little uh, symbol for the Ottoman end turn coming up. Actually, that's going quite quickly. Huh. That was suspiciously quickly. But yeah, I think attacking Britain is the only my only logical choice. Because that way I can establish a really good tax base somewhere that isn't um, in the Med, at the very least. And now I'm at peace with the Barbary States. Soon the Ottomans will be at war with the Spanish because they own Morocco rather than me. Pathbot Fabrizio Mincello. Yep, it's because there's a Murdoch Dudley has showed up with the Irish volunteers. Um, but let's engage the British on their home territory. So I'm fairly sure this is probably my best bet. Fairly sure. Um, I don't think there's... I haven't got the capacity to take on any of the big players, so I may as well go all... Well, I say I haven't got capacity to hit any of the big players. I'm declaring war on Britain. What I mean is I don't have the ability to take on a big nation alone, but I'm already at war with Britain, so it makes sense to exploit the fact that I'm already at war with them in order to not annoy anyone else. And actually, it may make certain countries like France and Spain happy that I'm targeting Britain. Okay, so... My men run. Because we do have, we do have uh, mortars against us, and my artillery, as far as they're concerned. Come on, there we go. Your job is to attack infantry targets. Not at all bothered about. Uh, they've already got flaming Charlotte, so my victory is probably not, not even going to be done. Not even going to be from. Uh, actually, my regiment of horse is going to die in here. Actually, so let's just keep engaging. 
their forces. Too bad about the sound, but there's not a lot I can do about that. So these guys, you're probably going to want to run. Except for my cavalry. I don't want to pivot my line, because we do have reinforcements coming in. So it's funny that I've got... The sound, but you know, the sound's been okay in the last two episodes I've recorded, and now it's just suddenly decided to play. Silly buggers. Okay, some of these units really don't want to engage. Okay, sounds come back. I didn't want to pivot my line, but it looks like I'm probably going to have to to make sure I get the uh, fire superiority I want. General's bodyguard's gone for my militia. But there go the mortars. So we very much need to yeah, get a master restrain from holding, plugging, putting plug bayonets into the mix. This regiment of horse, get them involved. Go hit the line infantry here. General's been killed. Always a nice thing. So I want to try and win up here so I can start to push my line something like this. Let's bring my general over here to go kill this militia unit. I don't want them starting to run around uh, my rear area unchallenged. So my cavalry have to charge in just to help try and tie up this infantry a bit. You're going to charge the militia. So their job was to hold them up while I can while I arrange my lines to be better to engage British infantry. There you go. So my general can engage the routing line infantry behind our lines. You guys keep engaging here. You guys should probably have... Should pivot like so. These units halt fire. My regiment of horses being dumb. I do not want them to be in front of my lines. Now engage. Maybe even just run around the line ready to... Uh, They're shattered. Attack the 33rd garrison unit. Keep pushing. Focus all my artillery onto the 28th. So the Irish infantry, we know. We're not bothered about the garrison unit because we're attacking Ireland now. I'm bothered about the 25th regiment. I'm not sure where they were come, where they came in. But they're the ones I'm bothered about killing because they might be part of the reinforcements. But just keep advancing. I'm mainly killing these guys because I want them to be shattered because they're behind my lines. I don't want them coming back. The Irish volunteers, I know, are reinforcements, so I'm going to definitely try to kill them.
Okay, you might have to come over here and hit any more Irish volunteers. Garrison line, garrison militia, don't care about them. Regiment of Foot, go take them on. And I also want to take out these Irish volunteers. Obviously after I take out these Irish volunteers, preferably. Or this provincial line, regiment of line. Damn right, continue. So the Irish infantry is going to be attacked from... It's going to get shot at for a long time. Okay, you guys come back. Let's halt fire with all my muskets to let my cavalry do their deadly work. You're doing good. So you ran out of ran out of people to kill. Yeah, they are going to escape because they've spread out nicely. So these guys, sadly. But that's a good victory. We lost 250 men, they lost almost their entire army. The reinforcing army did die. So let's repair the city and let's also dismantle this guy, ready to build a church school. Not so much to bother about Dublin itself, but more about... more about um, generating priests to go into Edinburgh and Scotland. Edinburgh and London, sorry. But that was pretty good. Yeah, six turns till Galway's built. Six till Galway is built. Yep, our navy has returned. Although I expect I'm probably just going to send them up here to go and interfere with British investments. So just raid their ports to make them unhappy. Can you get ready of raiding Greenwich? You can, the Royal Navy is in the channel. All of it's in the channel. It's a pretty good Royal Navy too. Okay, you need to hop back via Newcastle. To be honest, Britain has no units. No armies defending it, which is wizard. Can you leave Dublin? You cannot, sadly. Not this turn. But maybe next turn. We can recruit militia. Militia is all we need. Okay, so that was a very... That was a good first turn. And capturing... Yeah, so they are going to kick us out. And we're going to probably entice their navy to come and kill our ships. Yep, yeah, there they go. <laughs> but ultimately, those sixth rates were... Uh, they were slightly surplus to capacity. We didn't really need them. Because they were, they were built to provide ships for the trade zones. But now, you know, now we know that I can't get into any of the trade zones without sending a decent fleet to knock the door down. We know it's not really worth doing. And so it looks like the surprising Ottoman in turn has now gone back into form. Oh, oh no, it's not too bad. Yeah, <laughs> right, okay. Um, yeah, so we know that we can't realistically challenge any of the trade zones without a good navy. So that's why I'm, I'm happy to lose those six. Because it gave us the intelligence that the the mainland is actually very poorly defended. So attacking Scotland's going to be a bit of a drag because it's a fortified town. So I'm probably going to attack it and then not, um, not assault it. I'm going to have to siege it out. Which unfortunately gives them time to rebuild reinforcements in London. But it's what we've got to do. So you can't you leave now? 
Minus one. Yes, they can. They will complain. Good. Just go put London... Actually, Edinburgh's got a very weak garrison as well, so we might worth be worth trying to take it out. Ah, so these units aren't even units they recruited. They were part of the original units that were here in Portsmouth. Yeah, let's fill, fix the commercial port. Because right now we are at plus 900. Neg usually previously we were, ne we were negative. We're going to lose religious, un religious unrest entirely as we build the church school. One more turn till we get bayonets. Yeah, both of our fleets were destroyed and that's okay. Recruiting our militia here in Algier to help c keep people happy. Okay, good. So they're unhappy now, but that will soon go away. We may even we may actually end up assaulting Edinburgh because they, they'll they'll get a small garrison. So it might be worth lancing the boil early, getting the territory under our control through whatever means necessary. And it, that may translate into recruiting militia to help squash down um, public order in order to act to be able to quickly push south. We've got to bear in mind Sweden is still angry with us. So I think I might start to try and make overtures to uh, make peace. I might even attempt to give them a, a state gift in attempt for better relations. And I do know we can upgrade Malta, the uh, main building into an imperial palace, but it's a very expensive upgrade. Yeah, more militia. Workers on strike in Ireland, but now they're okay. So diplomacy, major nations, Sweden. Present state gift. Let's give them some of our finest china. Let's try and make peace. They want tunis still. It's okay. I mean, we will probably attack that just to get it done quickly. Because they only they only get line infantry. So I think we will. Let us assault Edinburgh. I'm doing this to try and knock out Britain as quickly as possible because people will realise that suddenly Britain has been replaced with a bunch of Maltese people. But ideally, Britain, if I can take Britain without too many people annoying me, the campaign for me kind of becomes sort of like a British campaign. Because <laughs> then I'll have, you know, I'll have... Uh, the British Isles with some territories in the Med. Okay, so same strategy as usual. Actually, let's deploy militia through the breach. So I, want, I do want to try and surround people. So let's put some line infantry over here. Then let's put another contingent of infantry to push around the right and attempt to escalade. Then our cavalry is just going to hunker down. These guys, because they're under no threat. Oh, one second, guys. The doorbell's just rung. Sorry about that. Uh, Amazon delivery. Because all my Christmas shopping is arriving. So let's move this contingent around here because they've got, not got to worry about um, enemy action. Similar to previous sieges, I obviously want to do this with as fewer casualties as possible because I want to push down to uh, London as quickly as I can. Some casualties are inevitable. Actually, no, these guys, you just try to climb up the... Uh, 
by the main gate so I can form a line of infantry. Provincial militia have caught wind of it. Hey, we've also got bayonets. Do you have bayonets? No, you don't. So we do have a slight melee advantage. So, because it looks like they're going to go and try hold the gate specifically, um, I'm going to... I'm more inclined to ignore the gate now. Especially if well, it looks like they're going to charge out. So I'm probably going to want to move my colonial... Not my colonial foot, my native infantry up there. Yeah. Let's get my native African infantry in there. My colonial infantry climbs up. We've now taken the gate. My militia is going to run because any minute now we're going to we're going to blow this wall to pieces. And I'm going to sprint my cavalry in. Knock it down now, that'd be great. That's a whole bunch of British troops destroyed. No, it's gonna take one more volley. Reload quickly while they're on the while they're on the One unit engaged the cavalry, another unit just runs straight for the centre. Still firing. Just get someone over here to start the clock. Put a time limit on it. We should do okay. Obviously, we're going to lose some men to this grinding fight up here. No. See, the whole unit just goes, no, 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 no. We want to fight. We want to get into a, a scrap. And I'm there going, no, your orders to advance. Because these chaps don't have bayonets. So we're going to do well. You guys just sit on the hit, sit here, just to turn the uh, to get the ticker to start to tick, tick in our favour. Okay, get my militia to surround them.
then, in 1 minute and 18 seconds, the city will be ours. Well, these guys shouldn't hold out for too much longer. No, they've shattered. The militia over here have shattered. These guys are gone. Slaughter them. Although, obviously, I don't care about killing them. I'm just happy I've got Edinburgh. So this is a region that may cause us some issues in terms of public order. Although I can... I'm going to repair these buildings. Run up to 1800 a turn, which is lovely. You guys replenish as much as you can. Next turn we're going to get a school. Highlander Warband has moved up. But it's not going to be enough. Uh, I would like, probably like to put another 6th rate to do some naval scouting. And obviously I forgot to change this technology, so you instead go for Physiocracy. As we now have towns that can make use of boosts in wealth. Now Britain is a bit concerned. Because we are about to become masters of the British Isles. Maybe, just maybe, we may be able to expand our... Expand our uh, influence into the Americas and get some of that sweet, sweet trade income. I would like to have a school in London, but I suspect we won't be able to have one for some time. And it has also been pointed out that because in Valletta you can't build a top tier university, at some point I will probably want to leave Valletta unprotected. I'll probably want to uh, allow the city to be captured and yet I can leave you completely un undefended. Aha! There is Mr. Churchill. Let's just maybe not do that. And let's maybe build... I don't have the cash. Eh, you probably can't get up to Edinburgh first before I can. Or at the very least you probably can't get to Edinburgh faster than I can get to London. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. Okay. So. Options. Options, people. Let's talk options. One option might be I might have to dump my artillery and sprint for London. Just completely avoid. I can't take artillery, but just run and surround and engulf whatever forces are there. And it will be a big army. It's not going to be a pushover. I don't think Britain exists anywhere else in Europe. So if I take London, they're done for. Unfortunately, I can't move my... I'm nowhere near a port to be conveniently picked up. So they've sabotaged a trade port. <laughs> okay, it's London or bust. Let's just check. They don't exist anywhere else. This is all Poland. Us, Ottomans. It's all Ottomans. I mean, they might still exist elsewhere, but it's Europe that matters. If we kill them in Europe, they... Uh, this becomes pirates. God damn. These are both rebelled. Why? Goddamn France, you suck. But let's do it, guys. <laughs> let's go take out London. <laughs> Cause let me just highlight just how cheap this is. Look how many armies they've got here, right? 
they all decided to push up, you know, swarm, swarm, attack Patton Alpha on Edinburgh. But if I take London, then they all disappear. How quaint. But let's go take them out. So this is going to be... <laughs> it's quite a good part, really. This is going to be a part where, in one turn, Britain is wiped from the map. Which I think is going to be quite delicious. Then obviously we're going, we're going to send troops over to uh, the Americas. Well, I mean, I can't be too gleeful. In theory, all of those troops disappear when I take London. But let's not discount the possibility that I've forgotten. I've missed something and I've screwed it up. That's always a possibility. I don't think I have. I think we're going to pull off a, a bit of a coup here. Just goes to show, they're all so keen to take back Edinburgh, but it's going to cost them London and their faction's entire, entire existence. Their greed will be their downfall, said Captain Jack Aubrey. So let's redirect our artillery fire because our muskets are going to take care of the artillery. Foolishly delicious. So I want to push my men up on top of the hill rather than sitting just below it. Take my artillery. get one unit just to sit there and bombard their guys right at the back. militia up here firing down onto those British regulars to charge my cavalry in to make sure they don't reform. Let's pick new targets probably on the right flank they're the most vulnerable. Eh, kill the mortars to make sure they rout. Delicious. Don't care about killing them all, just care about making them... Just care about shattering them to make sure they don't come back.
come on, why are these guys not shattered? It's because they've got too many men left. Soon they will not. Shattered. Good stuff. Charge these fire lock arm citizenry. These men are confident, are they? To be fair, that wasn't a very good charge for my cavalry. Don't make us persuade you to leave with a bayonet. Because we will. Get these militia over to the armed citizenry to help the, help with the combat. Oh, okay, they died. I mean, they're probably not going to come back, but I just like seeing the. Uh, the word shattered. I'm presuming most of my guys can't. Most of my guys aren't engaging because my, my artillery aren't engaging because uh, they shattered. Charge into them. They're probably not firing because they don't have a, an excellent view of the target. Not a very efficient use of the muskets here at all. But I don't mind. He's just gonna. <laughs> the whole point is just to have muskets firing at them from everywhere. I was gonna say that looks like that looks like them dead. Charge the militia, because they are not shattered. Steady, confident, eager. these guys over to help engage. Let's get everyone to run over. We got a whole army ready to run. Awesome stuff. End the battle there. London has fallen. So let's check to see if my assumptions are correct. So. Poof! Away they go. Obviously London hates me. But I can do some things to try and fix that. 
probably... Ooh, got another agent. Michelangelo Rao. Michelangelo Rao. Obviously we do have Cambridge, but we can't exploit it because they hate me. But we can upgrade the Bawdy House, so if we get rid of the University, it gets it down to minus eight. We're repairing the Royal Observatory, which should help get it to about minus six. But I think that's pretty damn good. We get Physioxy next turn. So how much are we earning a turn? 3,700. How much does it take to repair Somerset House? 4,300. Not enough. We get, I think it's worth dis dismantling this, or not dismantling it, cancelling the build, so I can end turn. Then next turn I've got enough to rebuild Somerset House. It's probably a good idea, I think. But in one turn. Granted, it's a long turn. I've gone over my episode limit. Not my episode limit. My turn limit. But in one turn, Brins, we've just blitzed through mainland Britain. Which is... I'm not even going to pretend. That's lovely. That's really good. I'm really happy with that. So now the next problem is over the next few turns we need to pacify pacify Britain. We need to make sure that we can keep them under control. I expect to, I expect there to be some problems. I would like there to be a... I, well, I really don't like what the Ottomans are doing. So I'm probably going to cut the recording here then bring you guys back because nothing is moving on my screen. So, see you in a second. And we're back. Um, but yeah, we want, so right now I want to use this time of relative peace because the only person we're actually at war with in the world is is Sweden and that's a really good position to be in compared to the rest of the game okay so we've got physiocracy let's hop over to Britain down to minus 11 oh why can I not build oh I guess I didn't get enough to build a uh Build these buildings. Okay, so let's build this guy up to a bawdy house. I probably shouldn't have dismantled the religious building because it does promote religious happiness. But oh well. This doesn't improve, improve repression. This does, but I can't afford to fix it. I'm going to build one of these guys into a church school to start converting these people and to provide some um, type of uh, happiness bonus. But I'm probably going to want to spend a bunch of money repairing what I've got. So I could exempt from tax, but it doesn't help too much, so it looks like we're going to have a handful of turns of war. my interpretation of things. If only Dublin would generate a priest, that would be super helpful. Yep, so we've got Galway, which I'm not going to, I'm not going to build another church school in Galway. So let's build the coaching in. That's probably the best thing to do. So they're on strike in London. Okay, let's... So how much does it cost to fix this? I don't know what I'm looking at. There we go. 4300. So in theory, the next turn, I should get that. But let's not get... Let's not get anything that will... Uh, ooh, social contract is a good idea to get the reduction or the reduction of uh, building repair costs. That would be a good investment, I think. So these towns are going to start growing a bit quicker. Five turns to Tatooine eight turns to Lanaba, but I think that's a really good time to end the episode <laughs> like we've just conquered uh, conquered the world well, not conquered the world but conquered Britain and obviously in the Americas still the 13 colonies but now we've got a whole bunch of pirate lands with which we can invade and expand so thanks for watching guys hope you've enjoyed and we'll see you next time for the continued adventures of the Knights of St. John and Britain Hooray!
Cheers, everyone.